Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So you can see it's a little after 3.30. It is 11.14. Um, inside it's about 66 degrees. Outside, we could uh, actually have a thermometer here. Outside is about 40. I think you guys could see that. It's still daylight, it's just starting to get dark. Um, I'm inside the Horde because I wanted to do a quick review of this thing. I've had it for about a month now. Right, this is my uh, Mitsubishi Mr. Slim heat pump. Um, when I do the description, I'll let you know, guys know the serial number and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so it's 40 outside. This is a good size house, um, and it's keeping it nice and warm, obviously. So I have it set for 69. It is 69. Um, this is the only control for this, and this is the only thing it tells you for feedback. Right? You can see the fan is on low, and you can see the way I, I have the, um, the grate opened on it. So you can set how far you open the grate and the other thing you could set is where you louver it to right left or straight um, and this is really the only complaint I I had about the unit and she don't know what it's up to I mean you see that see that one green light there there's one below it and I'm not quite sure what the green lights mean. So that was my that that was my only complaint about the unit that it's not telling me what it's doing. But then on the other hand, does it really need to tell me what it's doing? You turn it on and it warms up the house or it cools off the house, right? Everybody's got a complaint. The cat's got complaints, the wife's got complaints. You want it in or you want it out. So that's the inside piece. You can see it looks, I mean, it looks nice, right? No problems. It's not like sinful, ugly or anything. That's the outside piece. It's running. I have it on um, one of them prefab slabs. When you're looking at how much did it cost, that piece and the piece hanging on the wall, I think we're at 2300 The pipes that black stuff there and Calvin no I didn't fix the uh, weather shield there the, uh, the piece where it goes in I actually have to shorten the wires a little bit and see how it goes up there um, the pipes were another 500 bucks and um, and then I did a bunch of wiring inside and all that then I bought a load of tools to install it with. So 23 and 5 takes you to what, 28? Figure another couple hundred bucks for the wiring, which takes me to about three grand. And then I spent um, about another 500 bucks worth of tools. I installed it myself, not all that hard to do. Um, so. In a nutshell, what you do is you figure out where you want to put it, you hang the bracket on the wall, you drill a three inch hole, you run the pipes that are on the inside unit, the heat exchanger, out the three inch hole, um, you run the wires back in that you're going to use to hook it up, then you, um, you, uh, run the pipes down to wherever you're putting the outside unit, the compressor, you run power to the compressor, you hook up the wires between the compressor and the inside unit, obviously you have to hook up the plumbing. After that, I vacuumed it out, backfilled it with nitrogen, vacuumed it out again, backfilled it with nitrogen again, um, vacuumed it out, 
filled it with nitrogen and let it sit overnight as a pressure test. So I had it up I had about 350 PSI overnight. Came back the next morning, it held the 350, vacuumed it all out, um, closed all the valves, uh, took all that stuff off, opened the valves to let the Freon go through the system and fired it up. It's really about that easy. Um, really, piece of cake. Not idi any idiot could do it, but it, it's really not all that difficult. Um, excuse the darkness. I wasn't happy with the way not, not being able to monitor this thing. And what I did was I put this um, gauge package on it. I just want you to be able to read it. I'm hoping this thing will focus on it. There you go. So this is telling me what the air conditioner is up to. You can see I'm feeding 244 volts into it. It's drawing about 4.16 amps. So it's using about 952, 53 watts. That's not kilowatts, that's watts. And since yesterday at five o'clock, it's used 24 kilowatts or 20 kilowatts. I'm figuring that it's going to use about 24 kilowatts a, a day, that it's going to use about a kilowatt an hour. And at night it uses a little bit more, during the day it uses a little bit less. It depends on the temperature and how windy it is. Right now, once again, at 40 degrees, you could see what it's up to. So this thing is heating my entire house for 850 watts currently. It's heating my entire house. I have no other source of heat on. And once again, in just about 24 hours it used, in another hour and a half it'll be 24 hours, it used 20 kilowatts. So, how much did it cost me? What does it cost me to run this thing? 20 kilowatts cost me about 17 cents a kilowatt which means it cost me about three dollars and forty cents to run this thing for just about the last 24 hours if I would have used the oil furnace here it would have burned at least two gallons of oil and this year oil's cheap it's only a couple of bucks a gallon so the oil furnace would have been four dollars plus whatever electricity it uses um, so there's that Pellets. Pellets I would have burned a full bag of pellets and pellets are a little over five bucks a bag, right? So compared to oil right now, it's not saving me a, a load of money, 10-20%. Um, but right now oil's cheap, right? Right now oil's three bucks a gallon. Um, so right obviously that's that's it's not going to be like that forever oil will be up to uh, full price e eventually um which i i think i think oil for us here in the united states um is, is always is, is probably going to be closer to you know 250 or three dollars a gallon if you're doing your calculations um for how much money you're trying to save one could also see that thing is only burning about a kilowatt. Obviously, it takes much more than that to fire up. But only burning a kilowatt, it doesn't take. It wouldn't take a huge generator to run it um, during during a storm, right? Um, all I have to do is get 220 volts over to it, and it can run, you know, on a kilowatt. Um, even if you buy a 4,000 watt generator. Um, you double or even triple the running, uh, even if you quadruple it, right? So that it's 4x or four times, right? And it's running, it's using a little, little less than a kilowatt. Let's say it takes four times that to start it. You're still looking at um, only uh, 4,000 watts. So it wouldn't take a huge generator to run it. Um, either of these would run it easily. Obviously, that's 110, that's 110, that wouldn't do it. What do I think of it? I would give it a, probably a rating 
right now it's only a month old I haven't had any trouble with it I'd probably give it a 10 out of 10 I am very happy with it with the pellet stove when you want to you got to clean it out once a day you got to bring a bag of pellets to it and all the other stuff with that thing you just it just sits there and works there's it there's nothing you have to do um, should the power go out it comes back right where you left it if you have it set for 69 or 70 degrees it fires right up at 69 or 70 degrees wherever you told the louvers to go the louvers go whatever you tell the fan speed you want it to be it it does that if it's warmer out it uses less electricity if it gets colder it'll use more electricity the most I've seen it draw was about 1200 and change watts and that's because this morning it was around 30 and once again it was windy as a hoot everything was flying all over the place obviously I got some projects going and we'll talk about those um, probably We'll probably talk about that one tomorrow. I, I'm still thinking about some of the stuff I'm up to with that and where exactly I want to put it and what's a good idea and what's a bad idea. So let me mull about that a little longer so we'll talk about that frame for a tent tomorrow. All right, folks. Um, I just wanted to do this. You guys could see that. Obviously, it's all wired up now, and I got the current sensor and everything hooked up. Um, very, very handy device, that that current sensor. That way you could kind of monitor things and, and see what, what you're up to, what kind of power you use. What would be interesting with that is if you can hop it around, spend a few minutes, like put it on your well and leave it on there for a week or two so you could see how much, um, how much juice your well is really costing you. Put it on your... Um, your, if you have an electric hot water heater for a week or two um, and see what it's up to. You can even put it on your furnace, your oil furnace or, or whatever else because it'll run on um, voltages anywhere from 110 to 220 and it'll, it'll do current. I think it'll do current up to 100 amps, 99 amps. So obviously you don't have too much in your house pulling 99 amps or at least I hope you don't. Okay, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up. And, folks, please get out there and enjoy all your days. You don't know how many you're going to get, so get out there and enjoy them. Each and every one of them is a gift from God, so make use of it. And also, um, y you know, say a few prayers for those, uh, those people uh, in France. That sucks. You know, you go to a concert and... Uh, you have to have some jackass blow you up, right? You can't, you know, if uh, people want to want to be jackasses, you know, just stay home. Um, that just sucks. Anyway, folks, once again, thanks for watching and commenting. Uh, bye now.